So this is a part two video. In the first part of this video, I talked about that if that video did really well, then I would go ahead and come out with the second video, going over the things that I kind of had to skip over. So kind of think about this video as more of the intermediate levels of copywriting. The first video is more of the basics of copywriting, the, just the really fundamentals. So this one, I'm going to dive deeper into the details that I kind of had to skip over, otherwise the video would, would have just been too long. So to start off, there were a couple people in the comments of the last video that asked if joining the real world was worth it. And once again, disclaimer, I am not an affiliate for them, but the short answer is yes. Don't join thinking it's going to immediately make you thousands of dollars. You do have to put in the work, but think of it like a $50 school you are paying to go to. And the more time you spend in the school, the higher your pay will be when you graduate. So on to copywriting. I want to begin by teaching you how to really understand your avatar. Once again, the avatar is the person you are solving a problem for and thus getting paid for your solution. To truly understand your avatar and to make your understanding visible in the copy that you write, use this research method. First, create a Google Doc or just write down on a piece of paper exactly what the avatar's day is like. Give your avatar a name, age, physical features, and write out exactly how their day unfolds from the moment they wake up to the time they fall asleep. Creating a visual image and creating basically a person of your avatar makes it so much easier when you're writing your copy to just write to that one person rather than feeling like you're writing to a big target audience. Because if you just create one avatar that has all of your target audience's personality traits, then it comes across in your copy a lot more genuine. So be as detailed as possible with this person and what kind of values they have, what past experiences have influenced them, what current things influence them, what currently annoys them, frustrates them, keeps them awake at night. You need to understand their language, the words they use, the status that they feel they lack, the way others perceive them. Then you need to understand what is called their dream state. This ha if they had the ability to be granted one wish, what would they wish for? What would they change? If What if they were granted three wishes? Once again, what words do they use? There's so much more that you can write out to help you understand your avatar, but I'm sure you get the idea. Just try to understand the person as deeply as possible but from their perspective. This isn't all though. You need also to understand the roadblocks or the things keeping them from achieving their dream state. These can include limiting beliefs, physical roadblocks, financial roadblocks, and what does the avatar not understand about overcoming the roadblock? Because remember, if the avatar knew how to overcome the roadblock, they would already be at their dream state. Then of course, you need to decide a solution. What does the avatar need to do to overcome the roadblock and achieve their dream state? This could be something as simple as if they bought less food and therefore had less food in the fridge, then they would eat less and achieve their goal of fat loss. The final thing to truly understand your avatar is applying the product you're trying to sell them to their life. So how does the product help them implement the solution? Once again, using the previous example, if I'm selling a product that was an app, for example, uh, that limited the amount of food purchases someone could make during the day, well, this app could obviously help the avatar implement the solution of buying less food, therefore having less food at home, thus helping them lose weight. Obviously, that's a very crude example, but the point is that you, you see that your product isn't the solution to the avatar's problem. Imagine this. You have the avatar, where they are now, and then there's their dream state, where they want to be. In the middle is a roadblock. And the solution to overcoming the roadblock is the blueprint for a bridge to cross the roadblock into their dream state. The product is the actual implementation of that bridge, allowing the solution to be utilized. I understand how confusing this all might be, but if you just comment down below asking to see some of the work that I did for you, the real world, I mean, actually, fuck that. I'll give you all of the work I did for the real world, which includes over 30 Google Docs and hundreds of written notes detailing everything you would need to do and you know see the processes of the things I'm describing here. Once again, just comment that you would like to hear more and I'll get in touch and send you all of those documents. So that's the extent of understanding your avatar so that when you are writing the copy to solve their problem, you truly resonate with them and can fully describe how your product helps them reach their dream state by implementing some solution. So now you understand that you need to figure out their dream state, their roadblocks, their fears, and really understand the avatar to their deepest level. How would you figure all of this out? Well, if you're selling a fat loss app or just this works for any anything, but this is the example. If you're selling a fat loss app, go onto YouTube, search up competitors in the market, go to the comments and see what people are saying. Those people are more than likely the same people you will be selling to. Take the same concept and go to Reddit, Instagram, Facebook, Amazon reviews. This is a big one if you're in e-commerce and selling an e-commerce product because you can actually sort by best and worst reviews. 
the idea is any community where people are talking about similar products that you're selling. In this way, you could just see what language they use. A lot of the times they'll give stories about their life, letting you know what struggles they face, what dreams they wanted to reach and how the product helped them do that. This is called target research. Now, this is the exact approach you would take if you're selling someone else's product or even your own. Now, if you wanna sell someone else's product and basically become a freelance copywriter and then a copywriting agency, you now need to find a client to allow you to write the copy for them, which will get people to buy their product. So you take the same kind of research you would do for any other avatar and now just do the same for a potential client. After doing that, you now fully understand the client you're pitching yourself to. This will be a huge advantage when writing your cold emails. And once again, if you want some insane information and the legitimate documents that I spent literal months working on in the real world, just comment down below and I'll send you my Instagram or we can get in contact somehow. So I won't go into different email structures like HSO, Hook Story Offer, or DIC, Disrupt Intrigue, Click, or PAS, Problem Agitate Solution, because there's more than just those three. And once again, if you want super detailed information, I'll go ahead and share all those documents with you. Those are more the nitty gritty fine details when it comes to copywriting. So like I said, this is more of an intermediate video. The first one is more of a basics video and getting into the things like different frameworks and structures like that is more of the advanced levels of copywriting. So if you're just trying to get an overview and understand the basics, then they aren't necessary. Now, in the part one of this video, I said that you should give free value to the client you're pitching yourself to. And I stand by that once again, because that's what I was also taught in the course. But instead of doing an entire sales page for a potential client, writing a personalized cold email, and then they don't even respond or they respond back and say that they didn't like it. And you feel like you wasted all that time. Don't think of it like that. Every piece of free value that you create is practice. So if you are just practicing for hours and then not even sending that in any of that copy out and trying to get real feedback on it, then it doesn't help you because you don't know if you're improving on it or what, if what you're doing is wrong or right. So just reaching out to people and actually trying to get clients and sending them free value, that's your practice. Obviously, if they didn't respond, they didn't like your shit enough. So it's a chance to just keep practicing. If you provided exceptional value to them for free, they will contact you. I'm pretty sure that's, that's logical. You're pretty sure you're logical enough to understand that. A tip as well for when you're cold emailing, download an extension called Streak. I wish I knew this when I was way back in the day doing uh, my digital marketing agency because I was just spending hours just to send out five emails. It's a free, Streak is a free email extension, but it just allows you to see your open rates, organize your potential clients better, and send out multiple emails at once so, because once again, you don't want to be spending an entire hour just sending just to send five emails. Like I said, there's so much information that I learned by taking this copywriting course, literal hours of instructive videos that they have on there and that I watched days worth of practice, which all amounted to months worth of work. No shit. I would spend 10 hours a day, every day, sitting in front of my computer, working through the courses, practicing my copy and reaching out to clients. I reached out to over and I have all of this information too. Once again, we can go ahead and get in contact and I can show you all the proof of it. It's just I'm not able to do that in this video. So I have enough information and notes to create my own copywriting course, but I would rather just share this information with you. So if you want documents to look at, just let me know in the comments and we'll get in touch because even if you don't decide to, become, uh, to use copywriting to become a copywriter and make thousands of dollars a month with it, just understanding how you are sold things and how the entire world works will greatly impact your ability to make money in any field. I did also join other campuses in the real world as well. And yes, they do have trading signals on when to buy and sell. Of course, you have to have spent a certain amount of time in that campus before unlocking the trading signals, but they do do that. There is a very in-depth campus talking on how you can create your own content just recently. And just recently, I actually added an area where you can use AI, tons of AI tools to do some really amazing things and capture people's attention. There's campuses for crypto, day trading, content creation, copywriting, freelancing, e-commerce, literally just every way there is to make money online. And each one caters to your situation, whether you have thousands prepared to spend or no money at all. Choose to spend $50 on something that will change your life instead of on things that won't get you anywhere. Continue working hard, continue reading right, and good luck on your journey.